Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and this is the second installment of Freezer Meat Friday. Whether you hunted it or someone gave it to you, wild game meat is organic and it is delicious, and I want to inspire you to try it in new ways. A lot of people think that meat comes from the grocery store. Well, that's not the case. It has to be harvested somewhere, and this is where we harvest our freezer meat. In the wild, organic, before organic was cool. All right, you guys, so we just got done eating really good lunch or dinner. It was food for sure. Now, I got these two goofballs. These are two Florida boys. They have a YouTube channel. This is my daughter. She's a bouncing jelly bean. Her name's Ari. This is Aria, and Emma's up there. I've been gone since October. Because we've been gone, all of our neighbors, they trap hogs and they run hogs with, wild, with, with their dogs just like Mav is running our barn cat. <laughs> but when our neighbors start catching hogs and trapping hogs, all of them move on to us. So whenever I came here today, man, every field is rooted up. All of our roads are rooted up. There is hog sign everywhere. So we're gonna break out the thermal, we're gonna ease along, and we're gonna see what we can do. I've got a handheld and I've got a scope and we're going hog hunting you're riding shotgun. We've been driving for about three miles. We saw one hog get spooked. We got to a hay field. There's at least three or four that we can see. So we're gonna turn off all the lights. We're going 100% thermal. I've got the handheld. He's got the scope. We're gonna try to get close. Let him have it. Ain't that right? Let's go. Now turn your light off. They're kind of spaced out right now, but they're probably 250 yards going left or right. Or the wind is going, they're going with the wind. So let's just stay right behind me and we're gonna try to get out in front of them. There's a bunch of them, but we're only seeing three at a time. But there, there's a whole herd of them. That's a big one. That's the farthest one to the right. All the rest are to the left of him. Yeah. This is gonna be very hard sneaking up on them. We're gonna have to go very slow. Oh my, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I was filming with the thermal. I was filming everything with this little handheld. Literally, I could see you shaking through the thermal. You're like. <laughs> all right, so hey, was that was that cool or what? Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> what was your favorite part about all that? St was stalking them. <laughs> yeah. There was a big boar hog out there. I don't know which one you shot, but there was a big boar hog that was running them all around, like fighting, messing around. How awesome. Look at him, he's still shaking. <laughs> <laughs> now we're trying to get back around. We just got more ammo. And, but we gotta go through a lot of water.
What do you think about that thermal, bro? That thing is so stinking sick. Right? Oh, Actually, I'm literally, I thought I was filming him. I was filming my face. Oh, Let me turn around and film you. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Man, that first one, he was huge. And I put it right on his front shoulder and I let that bullet fly. And yeah. then I saw the other group and I just put it on them and I tried to put it right on the shoulders and I just let them fly. Here they come. <laughs> we got a whole daggum. Feel like heck no, we're not staying out there. Look at the hair on that kid. <laughs> Here comes pal Papa. How cool is that, man? <laughs> These boys are great kids. They make good, great, good grades in school, and they're polite, respectful, and they're hardworking. And uh, I really wanted to bring them out here on an awesome thermal hunt. And this was pretty much about as good as it gets. Yeah. I've three, the original three. They're still over there. No way. Yeah. When we were standing over there, we could see them. Did I? Did I got it or no? You just shot an absolute freaking monster, dude. <laughs> Dude, you just shot a giant, bro. Are you kidding me? Holy smokes. My adrenaline is like a hundred miles right now. <laughs> Gosh. <sighs> wow. Just gotta make sure it's there. Yes, it's there. Dude, this was the most epic thermal experience of my life. Listen, right now my adrenaline is going like super, super fast. <laughs> I can, I have no feeling of anything. No mosquitoes, no wet, nothing. <laughs> it's like, I'm going for it. So now you see that, that, that mentality of just boom, go. Yeah. It's a combination of quiet, stealth, speed, and power. That's how it is, yeah. All right. That's how it is. Let's go. All right. Y'all can't see me, but uh, we're literally gonna have the whole buggy full of wild hogs. I've never in my life had it like this out here. We just went herd to herd to herd to herd. Holy smokes. That's insane. All right, y'all. Now we gotta use the thermal to find them all. Oh my gosh, dude. Nice job. Boys, we done filled the boat. Ari, are you ready? Yeah. I got, I made a new friend. Oh, look at that. <laughs> all right, you guys, so we're gonna ease out here and try to locate all of our wild hogs because yes, we hunt them, but we also clean them and cook them. Let's go get them. That's a good shot. What you think, dude? I think I smoked him. You him smoked in the dirt. that one. But the better yet is, now you get to smoke him up onto the buggy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you know? We're right here back in the kitchen. Yeah, there's a hog. That's a hog leg. That's a front shoulder. And if this video seems like we just bounced around, it is. It's because I had a GoPro and I had a thermal and we just bounced around. I was out there trying to take those boys, that's Steven and Brandon, great boys. They have a little YouTube channel called Two Florida Boys. It's just about two Florida boys being Florida boys, doing what Florida boys do, what boys all over America do, enjoying their life. And they're very polite, very helpful, very good kids. So I feel honored to be able to take them out hunting and do something cool with them. I think good behavior and being a good person should be rewarded. 
That's one of the most underappreciated pieces of meat on any game animal. Front shoulder. Literally, if you're gonna grind this meat, just start cutting. You'll find your way. It's, I mean, there's no like wonderful right or wrong way. I do like to use like a, a boning knife. This is Silver Stag Bone and Filet. You guys have been seeing me use this knife for, I don't know, a long time. Flip this thing over. And you'll just, you're basically getting the meat right off of that scapula. I think that's the right word I use. I was trying to be smart. <clears throat> there you go. Take this. We're not worried about silver skin. We're not worried about anything. We're just worried about getting the meat off the bone. Doesn't matter how tough or how tender it is. And we just cleaned this hog. I mean, we got home last night around two in the morning. All these little pieces. Then once you have it here, we're just gonna cut it up into manageable chunks. There we go. Now, this is some maple smoked bacon. It's maple bacon. And we'll just throw that in there. That is some maple breakfast sausage. Mm -hmm. So that's a little grinder that I bought at Walmart while we were on our road trip. And I'm really enjoying it because it's easy to like it's easy to use. Just like that, we've got some homemade sausage from a hog we killed last night. While our pan gets hot, I'm just gonna break this thing down so we can so we can clean it. That's pretty much all there is to cleaning this thing. You just like it's, it's like it's deer meat for dinner. Food. That's all you gotta do. Make sure that right there does not go down the garbage disposal. That's why I like that thing. Cause it's easy, just like this. That's all our fresh sausage. We're gonna brown up our sausage. Check this out, you guys. Can y'all see that? Gotta taste your sausage. Got to make sure it's seasoned right. I know you think I'm being cliche, but that's phenomenal. I only ran it through the grinder once because I want it to have like a more bigger consistency and it's perfect. We're going to take some flour. You can use cornstarch just the same.
perfect. Now we're going to add milk. If I wanted to make brown gravy, I would have used beef stock. But if you want to make breakfast gravy, like milk gravy, use milk. There you go. Now, once our biscuits are done, this will have simmered long enough and we'll be ready to eat. Full disclosure, I just tasted that and it's probably the best wild hog sausage gravy I've ever made in my life. But we're gonna wait until Sarah gets home. We're gonna find out the truth. And I was thinking like, I, I've been editing the video all day. It looks like we just went, oh, hog, shoot him, bang, bang, bang. No, well, we had to like hike about 500 yards to get to where they were. We got a shot. We only had three bullets the first time because typically when you shoot once, they're all gone. Well, we called the guys on the buggy and they brought us more ammo and then I swapped hunters. So Steven shot first, then Brandon went with me. We hiked all the way around. We got back out in front of them, got some more shots. Then we're sitting there laughing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this just worked. And all of a sudden they were like, yeah, well, the three that you originally saw, which were way over that way, they were still there because they're blocked by these big islands of like cypress trees and palmettos. So then I hiked all the way around there with Sebastian and we got on them again. That's why it was 2 a.m. before we got home. For anyone wondering, there was not a single kernel of corn in that field and there's not even a single working feeder in that entire 580 acres. That was just all wild hogs tearing up cow pasture and we did some work. Wait a second, where are you going? Go get something, I gotta show the lady. <laughs> Here's that. Look who it is, y'all. It's the jumping jelly beans. They've come back for more. <laughs> what do you think's gonna be better, the duck or the wild hog sausage? Duck. Duck. Hog sausage. I duck. Hog sausage. Duck. Hog duck. sausage. Hog. Hog. Duck. 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 What's better, duck or the hog sausage? I never tasted it. Yes. A turkey for sure. Well, I like She said turkey for I sure. Like That's our child. Biscuits. Look at those biscuits right there, girls. Wow, who loves biscuits? Me. Yes, sir. I love sausage And that looks yummy. <laughs> okay. I did not want gravy. What is that? No, no, I don't like that. No. Dad, leave three open. Alright, stack, stack. Don't put. I don't like that. No, 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 no. Wait, who doesn't want that? This is better than the duck. Yeah? Better than the duck. What do you want, baby? Can you do mine like grandma? Like how she puts the blueberry jelly in it? Well, we yeah, don't blueberry, sure. but we have raspberry. Let's see what they think. Here, we gotta think. What, see what mama thinks of the. Can I have a little piece? Mm -hmm. Let's good. see what you think. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. Really good. That's good. You want me to cut it up for you? Yeah, yeah can you cut them up? Yeah, let me cut it for you guys. It's hot. That's real good. It's really good. I told you. It's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's. He ha how do you clean? It's good, Robert. It is very good. It's a little hot. It's but a little it's spicy. 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 It's spicy and it's better than a duck. Really? Way better than duck. Okay, you guys, the jumping jelly beans have confirmed that wild hog sausage is better than duck. Yeah. First, we gotta find out what mama thinks. Oh, phenomenal. So good. Mm -hmm. Who thinks we should take them out to the ranch on a swamp buggy ride looking for wild hogs? Me! <laughs> yeah? All right, mm -hmm. me too. Love you. Appreciate you. Merry Christmas. And we will see you soon. Take care. God bless. And we are gone.